These artists were the Marinari. Once a year, Marinari from all over Europe converge on Grazia for a festival, which includes a 24-hour street painting contest. The festival of the Madonna della Grazia is as old as the town, which is as old as the church. Street paintings have probably been a part of the festival for centuries, but since 1973, they have been the main attraction. The contest draws not only professional Marinari, but art students, teachers, critics, and thousands of onlookers. I am not that good at this. And I am here with all these people that are much better than me. But I'm trying really hard. And I think I can do something good, even if it will not be truly beautiful. To be a Madonnaro means to be on the road, to paint on the streets, because you need to make a living, and because it is your passion, your art. And also, we like to travel, to be independent. Street painting is given a real boost by this international festival. Madonnari can see each other's work and trade the latest information about where the money is good, where the police are unfriendly. The art of street painting is taken seriously here, and the life of these itinerant artists is acknowledged as a difficult but dignified way to earn a living. One day you make, you make nearly nothing, and one day you make a lot. It depends on many, many things, on the weather, the place, how it, on the... What do you paint, how you paint, how the people, and especially how the people feel on one day. Often I'm asked to go away by the guards or by policemen. But the people, they really appreciate me. You see, for me, this is a way to bring art to the public. I am reproducing the masterpieces of great painters and bringing them to the people. As the crowds are entertained and enriched by the array of chalk paintings at their feet, so are the Madonari rewarded by the attentions of the onlookers. For in this most public of art forms, it is ultimately the spectators that feed the artist, that inspire a Madonaro to continue his art. The ancient beggar's art of pavement and chalk. The energy, the real energy that one gets from the public is on more of a of an intuitive level, more, more just the energy of the fact that they're there and you're there, and they're concentrating and you're concentrating. That's where the real energy comes from. It's, it's just like being on a stage and getting the energy from the people. The great challenge is then to set aside a little piece in the middle of a noisy and distracting space which is going to be a uh, subject for contemplation, for taking some of the people out of their daily grind, out of their mechanical routine and set them into a little bit of fantasy and, and to carve that fantasy out of the fabric of, and the dirt of the street. <laughs> 